all right my beautiful people so y'all know what it is it's your girl ashes the rebirth so um i'm on here for one purpose and one purpose only okay and that is because i've got an opportunity right um and not just any opportunity so listen real quick okay so um the majority of the time that i've been working in my calling a lot of times it's been offered absolutely free and when it's not free it's donation based so people give and then there's times where people don't give there's times where people can't give and i still have to give excuse me of my essence of my mantle that be up upon my life to help women emotionally and physically heal and there has been some men before uh, god said that the mantle is for the divine feminine as far as my path goes okay so what I need you to do, like the description says, for those of you who say that you love me, those of you who most certainly came to the launch, I'm talking to you too. Um, those of you who just can't seem to figure me out, but you know some people that would probably resonate with what it is I'd be saying or doing, okay? If you ever liked me before, maybe you might not like me so much now, but if there was ever a time where you did like me, <laughs> Or you did love me I'm talking to you okay so with all that I put out this is what I'm asking in return right outside of the love that you all give me even the, those that came to the launch some of you that spoke I was really really happy to hear what you had to say some of you I knew how you felt and some of you I didn't and so it did me good some of you that I didn't expect to come came and some of you that I expected to come didn't <laughs> and you may be hearing this um, so you can still show some love. So what I would like for y'all to do for me, if you love me, if you really want to see me grow, if you really understand the essence of anything that I've spoken in the past five years um, or here recently in the past year about manifestation and being connected to me and what that means when the blessing flows, okay? Not that it's not interchangeable, reciprocal between us all. Because when I'm giving a reading to someone and I'm doing healing work for someone, I am being recharged and blessed myself. I am being given an opportunity to grow in my giftings. But in this moment, what I'm saying is that there's a since yesterday, like I know things grow and we all think like, you know, we're doing different things and we're growing. But when I say that the unction of the Holy Ghost is letting me know that, girl, <laughs> What you feeling on the inside is no comparison to what I'm really about to do. And I'm going to let them see exactly what I'm doing. And so I'm offering everybody an opportunity. Not no job, not no products, not no nothing. I'm offering you an opportunity to get on the manifestation train. I'm giving you an opportunity to get on the blessings that are falling upon me as I speak. If you understand and resonate with it, honey, you're going to get in it. You're going to get on it. You're going to understand the real intentions and the heart of what I'm saying. It's palpable right now, okay? You can feel this thing. It ain't no joke. It ain't no higher than myself or anything like that. It's just saying that I can hear what the Spirit of God is saying to me. And if you are connected, if you are in need of a come up, if you are in need of just someone to help pull you just a little bit, like you grinding all you can, but you just need a little oomph to get there. I'm telling you that's the glory that is flowing in and through me in this moment, okay? I ain't even say this is how I wanted it to be. I mean, we all want to be blessed and do things. And I am certainly not just talking monetarily, although that is a portion of this thing, okay? Okay, there's some portions that are being poured, okay? <laughs> um, God even said to me, I'm Gary to blow your mind, but they are going to be able to see. My real desire in my heart is that people really grasp what it is that I have always been speaking the true heart and essence of what God had me speak when I do work, when I do lives, when I'm doing private sessions, when I get on and I just post something that's kind, when I smile. I want y'all to understand that I labored for this smile. That I woke up diligently asking God that when I crack these, you know, these lips and these teeth show as big as they are, right? That when I smile and I'm in the grocery store, when I smile and I'm driving in my, in my vehicle, when I smile and I'm low and down, that it not only builds me up, but that it builds anybody up that's in the atmosphere. You understand? I understand and have grasped the spirit of God and how it dwells infinitely because it is energy. This is what we always talk about. Those kind of words trip people off because there are people that think that there is something else in which I move and breathe in and it ain't. I told y'all. 
It's all things pure, true, and love. And I'm not getting ready to hold y'all long either. What I'm asking is if it resonates and you can understand the mantle that be upon me. And when I say to y'all that God is saying that there is a well of overflow that I am about to offer to you, girl. So anybody that is in your grasp, literally, or anybody that is in your grasp, emotionally or spiritually connected to you, trusting what I've done and what I have put in and through you connected to you will be able to visually see it and also eat thereof. You understand? So my come up, be your come up. My come up, if y'all listened to the video yesterday that I put up, it's got a bowl of, of rose quartz on, on the cover of it, the little thumbnail. Go back and look at it, okay? Because I ain't got time to go back through that again. Because I'm trying to do this real short. This whole journey and what's been going on, right? I'm set aside. I'm different. <laughs> yeah, I'm different, okay? And not for the sound and for the clout or the song or for the clout, okay? It's because there are people that are going to be leaders that are going to be trailblazers and it don't mean that nobody else is it just means that i've recognized it and so those that don't recognize it yet or got the inkling inside of you but something just don't never seem like it pan out you get forward and then you go backwards god is saying hey i got somebody right here testament show you for her. i'm about to overflow her blessings and, and, and just because you're connected, I'm going to let you eat thereof. You understand? I ain't even worried about the table in front of my enemies. I'm not worried about that table that's being prepared. I'm talking about the people that are connected to me. And it don't have to be physical at all. You know me. You from my neighborhood. You know, you, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about connected. You ain't even got to like me to really be connected, okay? Now, you're not going to be no hating on me and all and, and get to be a, have a piece of it, okay? You sitting at a whole nother table. But if you want to reconsider, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying, all right? I ain't asked for the man, so I'm just saying it's sitting upon me. And I'm just saying I done put in the work to really heal for real. This ain't no, this ain't no joke. It don't mean no play, play when I get on here for social media, no nothing. Ask about me. You got a relationship with God yourself? You ain't got to question who I am. Ask about me. I guarantee you, even if you ain't never heard spirit speak, ask about me. And I guarantee you, you'll know what it sound like. I guarantee you, you'll know what it be like. <laughs> what I be about, okay? I'm just saying, things are shaking up. Chains are being broken. When I said September is all things getting rid of poverty mindset, it ain't to hype y'all up about it. It ain't for me to go write in no notebook or start a new workshop about it. It is upon me. You see? Which means it be upon those that are connected to me. Allow yourself to hear and feel the chains fall literally. I need you to hear it and pick this word up as plain as I'm giving it, yo. Because as plain as I'm giving it is as plain as the spirit keep feeding it to me since yesterday. And I'm having trouble even sleeping at night. I'm telling you, yeah, I'm on the CBD, <laughs> okay? But them gummies and things, they got nothing on the spirit of God. You understand what I'm saying? Spirit on overload high because it's coming out. And so if y'all can collect some of the overflow, I want y'all to be able to get it because you see every day that I'm working hard. It's not just so I can get myself. It's not just so I can build my brand, my legacy. It is not just for me to be able to get a house, get a car, have money. No, every moment I'm thinking about growing, it has everything to do with let me continue the legacy of my ancestor, Paul Kufi. Let me be able to create land so that people that need it can have it. Let me be able to create opportunity for people who may not have it or can't see it or ain't going to talk to somebody else that don't look like them, don't understand like, like I could, that could resonate with me for real. People from my place that understand who, absolutely who and what I am. Every time... I have my mind set on what it is that I'm trying to manifest. It always includes my people. It always includes my neighborhood. I can't get away from it. 
even if my people and my neighborhood have never really accepted me, accepted me for whatever reasons. I'm outside of whatever somebody's perception has to be or misunderstood or lapse in time so we don't communicate anymore. Whatever the reasons may be that we have drifted and have been distant. I want y'all to know that there is an overflow that be upon me. And I'm just telling you what thus saith the Lord, okay? You take it how you want. But the overflow that be upon me is enough that all of the things that I've been trying to do within my community, all the things that you are trying to do in your family and within our community can be so. It is so because the overflow is here. It's just a matter of whether or not you are going to access the overflow. Okay? I'm just saying it how I'm being given it. All right? I don't know how else to give it to y'all. Okay? So if you love me or if you don't, <laughs> I'm just saying it's an overflow here. If you're in the naysayer crowd and you at a whole nother table, it's been prepared. I'm not even worried about it. But if you are connected, if you meant what you said at the launch, if you mean what you say in my day-to-day -day life when we encounter each other, when we talk, if you mean those things, then I just want to say thank you, number one. And number two, I wanted to make you abreast of the fact that like, hey, here's what Spirit is saying. Like, overflow is here. But I also want you to understand that in order to access the overflow, because I give everything oh so freely, I give of my love, I give of my smile, I give of my essence, my energy freely, that you're going to have to do something, okay? Or else we would just be able to reap off of the healing work that someone else has done. So here's how you can take part if you want to access the overflow, okay? I'm not asking nobody to buy nothing from me at all, okay? Because I told y'all before, me profiting and, and, and when it comes to money, <laughs> like that's nothing. I'm well taken care of by spirit, okay? Period. My wealth don't come in and through no people, okay? Um, but if you can, think inside of your mind of 10 people, 10 people who may need my services, whether it be some divine woman that you know that is hurting, struggling, that needs some help, that you think I could really be able to assist, write her name down. Write their names down. Ten of them. If you only, you know, if you can write ten of them. If not, think about some of the other services that I have. There's CBD. There's people that we know all over the world, even yourself, that may be in pain, hurting. This ain't no gimmick, no game. Like any moves I make are very strategic. If the spirit said to me right now, you could be a million dollar earner right here doing these things. But I say, I need you to come over here and you can only make, you know, a, a, a dime a, a hour. Then I got to go for the dime an hour because I don't know no other way. Because the moment I get out of line of spirit, I know what life going to be for me. And I've run too hard from depression. I fought that bastard too hard. I fought fear and accomplished that thing. Like I won the whole war, the whole battle. You understand? Low self-esteem, not loving myself, low standard. Like, yo, poverty mindset, not thinking I'm good enough to be able to do something. Worried about what the hell the next person going to say about what I'm doing, what I feel, and what I got to say. Conflicted about am I loving too much, am I loving too little, how's it going to go? Like every moment about something else other than myself. Okay? When I say smile, crown not tilted but on my head, high. Not proudful, not boastful, but very grateful because I know what I've had to do to get to where I am, which is why I know what it feels like when these ladies that work with me are, are going through their healing process. It ain't, no, it ain't no jokes, it ain't no gimmicks here. You see, I am really about people getting well and really healing so that they can really walk into the manifestation of their abundance. You see, that's the overflow. 10 women who are broken have some kind of wound of the heart no matter how far long ago it occurred or how current it is if you know her write her name down you know somebody who's physically in pain because so it is in the natural it is in the spirit things we're not picking up things that we have ailments hurts from they can show up physically they can show up as diseases they can show up as emotional things that show up in our body physically right 
there's products and services. And I don't mean I just get the product and send it out, okay? When I'm doing any of these transactions, I am under the unction of the spirit, okay? If you've ever gotten a product from me, whether it's a crystal or any of the new things that I'm sending out now, I consecrate those things. If I'm typing on the computer to send those things out, there's prayer being sent upon those things for the energy of all things good, pure, love, and true to enter your body if you're taking something internally. That it go from my hands to your body if I'm doing Reiki on you. That it go from my mouth to your ears into your spirit if I'm speaking to you like now. You see, there is nothing done without intention and love and purity and the unction of the Holy Ghost, you see. Ten women. Ten people that you may know that are in pain. That don't have to be no woman. Physically, they're in some type of pain and they want to see how CBD products can work in and through their body, okay? Um, if you know any women who feel like I break my back every day for somebody else and I still get nowhere and they want to take a chance on stripping their mindset of the poverty mentality, check the check, getting up and dismissing the very work that I'm doing because Here's reality. You getting up every day mad about going to work. Then all the funds that you think you're making, that's why you stay in that cycle of check to check. Not necessarily just the job ain't paying enough. And it never will. But even if it were paying enough, the fact that you don't like it. Who woke up and said, my dream today, and this ain't to dismiss nobody. But who woke up today honestly and said, my dream of all dreams is to work at McDonald's or any fast food is to work as customer service, ringing somebody up at a grocery store, at a retail store. Who woke up this morning and said, my biggest dream ever, if I could live my, my life's dream, you know, it, it would be scooping ice cream, you know, for somebody in somebody else's company. Not that you wanted to create your own brand and line of it all, but I, 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 my dream is to get up and work for somebody else who doesn't really care about me, I'm just a number, because everybody's not gonna be a business owner. That's not even what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, whatever your dream was, if it was to be a photographer, to be a dancer, to be an artist, are you working somewhere if you're not gonna have your own business? Are you aligned to wake up every day and love that you're going to work for someone who appreciates you, who knows you by name, who recognizes that you have children that you love and if something happens at the drop of a dime, you got to be willing and able to allow me to go because you understand where I'm coming from. That if I had a hard day and I deal with depression, that if I come to work today, I could talk to you seriously about it and we on one accord. How many of you are really linked and aligned that way? You ain't got to be no business owner. But are you working inside a dream of someone who has the same vision and alignment as you and your dream that really cares and loves who you are because if not you are dismissing every amount of abundance that you could be getting anyway so even if they gave you a raise you're still dismissing and continuing that karmic cycle of lack and poverty mentality because you hate getting up to go to the job so you can work overtime all you want I guarantee you you still gonna be check to check I don't care how many vacations you going on I don't care what it is you feel you're doing. At the end of the day, you have a complaint about what you're rising to do every day. That's an issue. We got to start getting aligned. You understand? This is what I'm saying about overflow. It's not just abundance of wealth. It's abundance of knowledge and wisdom. An abundance of being in alignment and how to. This is what I do on a regular every day. You understand? I want everybody in my space, everybody that I know, with, with visions of people in my life that I, I haven't talked to in years, but I'm like, well, they're still connected, right? Because we cross paths. Some of y'all hurt me dearly. And I'm going to tell you right now, you've never left my heart space because I've learned that love is all freeing and all pure. My God, make them understand. So even if you decided not to love me and not to choose me, let me tell y'all truth be. It has nothing to do with when I said I love, that I mean it, that I meant it. You understand? That's the knowledge and the wisdom, the fucking hardship of having to go through no love to learn what it is.
inside with and through spirit so that I love unconditionally. I don't conditionally love you. You cannot like me and I can love you dearly. I can support everything you do. Why? Because I have learned the very gifting, the very essence that is love. That's why God let me do what I do for real. It ain't because I'm great. It's because in my brokenness, I allowed it all to be so broken. And I surrendered everything because what else I'm going to do from here but go up. And the moment I realized it and I could hear the chains breaking, I fell in line. I don't know where else to go and what else to do but to follow spirit now. You see what I'm saying? This don't be no gain to me. And I know people hear me and I know people see me and they'll scroll right by it because they just like they can't get it. And that's okay. Because as long as you connect it at some point in time, it's going to merge right back on in and you will get it. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't worried about it. That's why naysayers ain't my enemy. Because you're going to get it. And you're going to merge right back in line. Because I'm making the space conducive for chains to break on poverty. For chains to break on closed minds and mentalities. For chains to break on your idea of what religion, spirituality has to be. To break chains on the ideas that people have given of what God and Holy Ghost got to look like and show up and be. <laughs> chains. Broken. I be the vessel. For things that, that at one point in time were dead like Paul Kufi, my real ancestor, live man. Was the first and the last in my lineage period to be rich. I'm not talking about all way Kemet, whatever, whatever. I'm talking about right in Massachusetts. Okay? By the end of this month, I'm going on that land in Massachusetts. So I can really be one with spirit and with my ancestor to hear what it is that needs to be said. Because I am the rebirth for a reason. I didn't ask to be that. I didn't make that up to be cutesy. Spirit said to me, this is who I call you to be, girl. And once I heal those chambers of your heart, this is who you're going to rise up as. Do you understand? And so I get to rebirth his very legacy because it didn't die with him. And so if you're connected to me, it's real. You writing down these 10 people, you can see it as something real callous and tangible in, in, your, in your regular vision of, oh, this is just to assist her. Or you can see this in the spirit with me and understand that in writing those names down, setting your mind to know that when I get time, I'm going to write them down and send them to sis in her inbox. Then you are already attaching yourself to the blessings that are coming. You sit by and watch if you want or you get connected to it. You understand? God said, convey the message. You ain't got to convince the people of nothing. It's going to be what it's going to be. Ten women that may be broken. Ten men or women that have pain racked up in their body and they want to try a product that is all natural, that is already something that is in your body. If y'all know anything about um, homeostasis, our body having the ability to kind of, how do I need to fix and alter things to get into a space of heal, whole, my proper way of being. It's the idea of when you see the birds and things, how we as human will walk around and we'll be homeless. Don't know where we're going to get our meal from. Got to swipe an EBT card. You don't see no birds standing in no social services line. And we think we so much smarter than them, right? <laughs> they, they ask not where they food coming from. It flows and aligns naturally. Sometimes the brain is the very thing that causes us to fall out of line with spirit. And that's why we in the predicaments and the spaces that we are in. You understand? It's a whole nother lesson for a whole nother time. I'm so welled up. So I know I'm here and there. I meant to come on here and be very direct. But the way spirit be moving right now, like it's just open because there's such an overflow. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I've never felt this abundance of overflow before in my life. So I don't even know how this is going to run down. When you talk about minds being blown. I'm saying, please get connected, yo. I'm saying, please send the 10 because I'm telling you how spirit gave it to me. Write down those 10 names. 10 for the women that are broken. And I know you know more. Keep writing. Write until spirit say stop. I recommend that you sit and say, okay, God, who is it that I might need to write down? Because they may need to be connected to the overflow that's coming out. You see, this is the time where now if you spiritually sound. 
that you should resonate with this and get on board. Write them down and send them to me, please. The way spirit works, I don't know exactly what spirit going to want me to do with those names. For some of them, yeah, I'm going to want to reach out to them and say, hey. For some of them, God might just have me do something. You see what I'm saying? Speak a word on their behalf. I don't know how the spirit of God going to move. All I know is you need to write down 10 women's names that are broken, that can utilize any of my workshops, any of my healing uh, services, okay? 10 people that you know that have physical pain that maybe the CBD could possibly help them, right? I ain't no doctor. God the ultimate doctor. But if you write their name down and you don't ask, you know, should I write their names down? Then I'm sure to help them because that's the way it works. God don't have time to be wasted, okay? <laughs> None. All right? Now, here's another thing. Write down anybody that you know that got a background. They can't work, can't get no job. The CBD hemp business. I know brothers right now that can't get good jobs on account of they got a background, okay? If y'all are not connected to the NOW community group, this is what they do, okay? Connecting, making sure the community is well. So I'm asking for y'all's help too, okay? That's Thomas Johnson, y'all. It's called NOW, N-O-W. I'll tag it in here too, okay? Because we all about building bridges and doing some things within the community, all right? People who don't have. So I want to connect with, with you too while I'm saying that. Okay. And and I know you know because you came to the launch too. But for those who are convicted of whatever. There is no background check in the business opportunity if you want to team up and be in business and partner with me. I'm just throwing it out there. Because when the blessings and manifestations flow, they flow. And so if God has seen it fit to let me be the vessel to break some of the dope boys in my community free, then honey, please sign up the dope boys and tell them to come to me. Okay? Because there is an opportunity where you can make money. You are, you, you are, you're a hell of a salesman, bruh. They making a market in the cannabis industry now for shit that y'all in jail for spent time for. And now they can profit off of it and my community just be another hood. Another statistic? God say no, yo. No. Scoop them young boys up and pass them my way. There's an opportunity. You running a business out in the street. Let's run it the right way, bro. Let's stop letting them see you as some slum ass nigga because you ain't. Let me tell you as your sis, yo, I see you. You ain't got to do it that way. But you also ain't got to, you ain't got to waste what you gain in the street either. You ain't got to waste what has become who you are, yo. Yeah? You still want to sell a bag? Hell, it might get you high. You might feel good selling a bag. Because there's something inside of you that is a salesman, but let's do it a way that ain't going to have you hemmed up. That ain't going to have your mama crying. That ain't going to have you out here going away for years from your babies. That ain't going to have you getting out 40 years old. Can't find a job. Can't do. Can't do. Let's get you lined up the right way, bro. So our communities can look different. Not for nobody else and what they think about us. But for us. Wouldn't it feel better if you doing it the right way? You already got a clientele base. Hello? You already got the clientele base. But you ain't got to put in the money to get the damn dispensary. You ain't got to spend the money on no lawyer because you gotta get locked up. You ain't got to spend so much time looking over your shoulder because you on the grind for real. You can have a real testament. Okay? Ain't that some real gangster shit? Started from the bottom, now we here type shit. Rags to riches type shit. The right way though. You already starting with a clientele. Please send them. Because you ain't got to. You ain't got to do nothing with your background. And I know you already got money. So you can start out in the business real quick. 
get you product sent right on to you. It'll mail right to your house. All right. <laughs> you can mail it to what used to be your dope spot. Can be your ad, your your real business. You can get on into your taxes now where you can account for what it is that you're doing when you clock in your thousands, your five figures now, that you got it the right way and can't nobody steal it and repossess it from you. Hello? Perspective shift. Out of the poverty mindset. Out of the niggerdom that they tried to give to us and we thinking it's the only way. We thinking that street shit giving us so much damn clout, yo. And they banking off of every one of you when you get locked up. They banking off of you when you get home. They banking off of the fact that you're going to make it right back again. And the cycle of their money is passive residual income because they know you're coming right back again. Please send them. Write 10 of their names down. All right? And send them. It's longer than I thought, but it be what it is. Send them, please. Because we can get you started in your business like right now, yeah. And not on account of me, but on account of you deserve better. You deserve to put all that sales ethic to the right place. You got sons that's out here selling dope. I know you feeling some type of way. My kid's dad. My, my first two. Because I got two baby dads. So my first two kids have the same dad. He's locked up right now. Selling dope. Okay? It ain't my kid, but it's my kid's dad. Your baby dad out here selling dope? Send him. Y'all can build a business and do it together. Okay? And he can still be selling, you know, CBD. We got products with THC in it. Okay? <laughs> we got full spectrum. We got broad spectrum. Okay? Tell him come partner. Y'all can partner together in a business. A legitimate one. Where you ain't got to be crying at night and he ain't got to be out all night. Y'all grinding together for real and you on the come up. So the excuse of I got to do what I got to do ain't got to be in the street no more. Yeah, we got to build our communities back up. There's no background check here. You want to start with business with me? All y'all got to do is let me know. You out here in the dope game, I already know you got coins on top of coins on top of coins, okay? Pay your little business overhead to get you into the biz. And that's it. You start making your money today. You got a clientele base that I dream of having, okay? But I want to help because the overflow is here. God said I'm pouring out a blessing. It's going to be large enough, right? It's not only going to blow my mind, but those that are connected to me. Because you're going to see just how quickly things are changing for you. Because when the dousing of blessing comes, oh, this type of, this type of abundance, I, I can't even tell y'all. When I say labored for, I, I can't even, I, those words ain't even strong enough to really get it, get it. To you mamas out here struggling, you want to spend more time with your kids and you can't because you punching in clock. Don't go on the next vacation right now and then come back just to struggle and work and work. Take that money and invest in having an opportunity to run your own business. You can stay at the job if you want to. And 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 you want to try it out and see if this going to work. I'm just telling you. I'm conveying the message. You do what you want with it. Ten women who are broken. Ten people that you know that are in pain in their body and they want to see about any CBD type stuff. Dope boys. People that can't get jobs for whatever reason. Mamas who want to have a job or have their own business. Right? And partner with me for real. And not have to always... I homeschool my kids. I have for five years. Y'all know that. Y'all ought to know that I ain't lying about what the hell I say. Because y'all see me. You know you know what it's hitting for. I'm not joking with you. Build this business here. Have the opportunity so that your business can merge somehow with what it is that you're doing. What's your dream? Manifest your dreams through having the opportunity to run and make some money. Where you can be happy when you get up. When you happy, you happy for yourself. You happy for your kids. You happy for those connected to you. You see how it works? Those connected to me. And then those that are connected to you. And those that are connected to them. And to them. And to them. And to them. This is breaking generational curses. 
This is breaking poverty mindset. This is breaking building up someone else while we are falling down. You see? This is me trusting. CBD products is all about you trusting your body to work how it should be working. <laughs> yeah? Ten women. Who want to get their bodies fit. You sick of walking around being sick. You don't want to die. But you can't seem to curb your appetite. You need a group of women that's going to be around you to help you out. Not be looking at each other. Oh she looked better than me. Oh she tore up. From the flow up. That we're building each other up. We're talking all wellness and abundance here. Okay. You love me, you hear what I'm saying, you can feel it, it resonates in you. Make those lists of those people. When you inbox me, you should have at least 30 people that you're sending, okay? And when you send me those people, you are going to be in the flow of whatever this abundance that spirit is, is putting into the space. When I tell y'all, I wish you could feel the mantle. I wish you could feel the Holy Ghost, I guess, and the way it's resting on me. The way it's hovering over me. I just want to speak that, I, that, that spirit, anybody that's listening to it, really can feel what it is that you are allowing me to feel. What it is that you are allowing me to give breath to, to give life to. The women who are now in... We're coming to the end of our two weeks. I, I, I say to you ladies. Send something. Because the anointing ain't light. I can't even play around with it like it's some cool shit right now because it's heavy. And I, I just I just want you. I, I just really want spirit to really like make it make it clear. Allow them to feel it for real. Because there's some chains breaking you for real. And it's all, it's, it's, it's on poverty. Uh, and mentalities. And real healing coming through. Right? And I just want I want my community, I want my people to, to literally get on board to what it is that Spirit is trying to do. And not because it is me, but because Spirit is using me as the vessel. There's nothing I can do about that. Right? So you might not look, like how the vessel is looking. But you might as well take the opportunity that Spirit is offering because you don't like going to work every day, but you damn sure make your way, okay? That's all I got to say, y'all, because I don't know how else to put it. I I'm just leaving it up to Spirit now to touch this video, to touch those that hear it and that you follow suit. And that's it. Yeah. It's getting real, y'all. Uh, it ain't no fancy backgrounds. No, you know, this is how it's going to run down. Like, it's it's just weird. It's like, I ain't got time for none of that. People are dying. People are wounded. People are canceling out the very blessings that they are continually praying and asking for. If they don't like how it looked, that's okay. Just convey the message. Don't Don't convince them. Just convey the message and let me work. And so that's what I do. That's all I'm doing. Okay? If you unclear about what I'm saying on here, message me. If you clear about what I'm saying and what to do, message me. I, my, my inbox after this, when y'all start watching, should be ding, 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 ding. Because you got dreams. You know dope boys. You sick of crying because your sons and your, your baby daddies is running around here all types of ways. This isn't something that is that is closed off to a certain special group of people. My opportunities are all inclusive because my opportunities only come in and through spirit. Okay? We're trying to live dreams here. We're trying to see what real abundance look like and stop just praying and, and wishing for it. But actually seeing it and feeling it and living in it. You want to buy? How... 
what my town right now in Berlin look like for real. Y'all that are from it, you know. They're tearing down shit when they want to. People got to find somewhere else to live and everything else, okay? They take that away from us quick. Why? Because they got to beautify that space. Because all those people that are traveling to go from our neck of the wood down to Assateague, it, it don't look befitting because we there. If we don't take charge in this moment to do something, y'all, it ain't going to be no, that's my hood. So where you going to be at? Because you ain't going to have no hood. Little by little, they're removing you out of there. And it don't even seem like it's little by little. That shit seemed real quick to me. We have to make moves. Hoping and wishing is not going to do it. This 10 names is a small little action that God is giving to see who is going to be alert enough to resonate with my spirit for real. And you can either pick it up or leave it down. My prayer is that you really pick it up and hear what thus saith the Lord and not just, I know y'all see me. But hear me. Yeah? And I leave that to spirit. And that's it. So if you know what to do, send my send it to my inbox. If you're unclear about anything that I just said, because I went a whole lot of different ways, because spirit get me to going, message me. But don't listen to this and let it pass by. And if you're at this point, then you're very wise because you listen through the whole thing. Because I know it's going to be a certain group of people, a very minimal amount. That's going to watch a little bit and not get the whole full thing. And so you're not going to be edified and you're going to miss the very blessing that you've been looking for. And just because I don't look like the venue and the vessel that God would use to get you where you've been dreaming of for years. Doesn't mean that I'm not that vessel. Know the spirit by the spirit. You know the spirit by testing the spirit. How else would you? It says taste and see. Right? Of the goodness. I can hear somebody in my spirit say, they ain't what it is. It's taste and see that the Lord is good. I know that. But I can paraphrase. Okay? <laughs> if I want to. Okay? Now, y'all know I had to joke a little bit because it gets serious. It gets tight in here. The spirit ain't playing no games. But I did want to make that clear. Just because it doesn't look like the vessel and the way that you thought, I need a home. I need a place to live. I need some money. I need this. I need an opportunity. Just because it doesn't come and somebody says, hey, today I give you a house, doesn't mean that there is not an opportunity that's available for you to be able to get it. Just because I don't look like who and how you thought it was going to come, don't mean I ain't the very vessel and the very vehicle that God is using to do it. So I suggest you test this thing, okay? <laughs> Didn't I tell you at the beginning of this? Ask about me. You ain't got to ask me. You ain't got to believe me. You ain't got like how I look. You ain't even got to like me. Just ask about me. And when I say ask about me, I'm talking about ask God. Now you can ask some of the people, the women that have worked with me, how they feel about me and if it's worked for them. But I'm saying ask the ultimate, ultimate. The one who sent me. Ask about me. And it'll soothe all your little concerns and things that you have about me. <laughs> okay? Y'all know what it is. It's your girl, Ashes, the rebirth. Remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love. And all things great and grand will be beckoning unto y'all. I know I felt like the pastor on Sunday who says, I ain't going to keep y'all long, but let me get this done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And here we are 43 minutes later. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. If you last it this long, this here is the beginning of the blessing. You at this point in this video, and then you go make the list, and you really send them to my inbox. Y'all can play with it if you want. It's little things. I take the, the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. That means I take the things that seem real silly and make it something real big and grand. So you can play with it if you want. Okay? That's it. It's your girl Ashes the Rebirth. Ashe, we're going to say an amen and seal this thing because it's no joke.